And now, coming to you from Royal Jam Studio in Carbon County, Pennsylvania, Mike Stanley. Okay, we're going to need banner paper, a yardstick, a compass, some assorted drafting tools, like so. I like to have them that have the centimeters and the inches because centimeters for civilized people we're going to need a precision straight edge an eraser for the pencil and keep your point sharp I'm going to cut off about 45 inches of banner paper I take that banner paper and lay it out on a flat surface I like to use this glass desktop what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw two lines first one is about nine inches from the edge and that's my center line and I'm going to draw a string line over here a few inches from the edge here but I'm going to do that after I locate a few places on my center line now I'm just making a mark here a few inches from one end and I have a mark at the other end and most guitar cases max out at around 40 41 inches so I've marked off 41 inches of center line that my guitar has to fit in including the tail peg a headstock more than seven inches long starts to look a little silly so unless you're going for that I'm gonna mark off seven inches from my end point here that's where I want my nut and now we have to make a bunch of decisions now before we go any further we have to decide on our scale length and that's the distance from the nut to the bridge fenders have a 25 and a half inch scale length Gibson's have a 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length and Paul Reed and Smith are right in the middle at 25 inch scale length that's for electric guitars since we are going with a 25 and a half inch scale length I know where I can put the nut and that'll determine a whole lot of things right there the average fingerboard is about 18 and a half 18 and three quarter inches long so I'm gonna make a little mark back there and now I know my fingerboard length I also know that on the 25 and a half inch scale guitar the width of the nut the length of the nut is about an inch and five eighths to an inch and eleven sixteenths. So I take a square and I put a line there. There's a square on my center line. Hold that up to that, like that. Now I know that square and I put a line there. That's where my nut's going to go. I do the same thing back here with uh, the square that perfect like that and I know that's where the end of my fingerboard goes right there now I know my fingerboard and my headstock really helps to have the parts on hand before you start your design I have a nut here from a fender guitar flat bottom but I just trace the footprint of it out here centering it between the strings the D and G string uh, slot spacing and then I just trace that out footprint now I know where my leading edge of the nut is I can measure 25 and a half inches down the line here and put in the bridge position approximate bridge position and now we have to make a couple more decisions I've carried my nut line up and my bridge line up and what I'm doing now is I'm drawing a string line about three inches from the other side of the page I left nine inches um, over because I know if my guitar body is going to be about 13 inches wide that means I need seven and a half inches to draw it I want to leave a margin and I want to be able to draw a full profile so there's my string line I also know that we're going to need a truss rod although not this one truss rods come in 14, 16, 18 inch lengths and for a 25 and a half inch scale I like to use an 18 inch truss rod this one is for a 24 and 3 quarter scale 
And so, not that. Now we will be right back. But first, make my day, like, and subscribe. Now back to the video. I know my neck heel is 52 millimeters wide. So I've drawn in the fingerboard and the truss rod channel up the center. I'll draw in frets later. But now I need to decide what I'm going to do up at the head because string pull matters. Since I'm assuming that most people will just buy a neck to start with, I drew in Fender Stratocaster headstock, which I narrowed a little bit. You could design a neck any way you like. I just designed this one with a straight string pull because I like a straight string pull, especially if I don't have a locking nut. I've taken all my measurements from below and copied them above. I also measured one of my favorite guitar necks and I found out that it was about 14 millimeters thick from the bottom of the fingerboard to the back of the neck at the nut and at the 12th fret it was about 17 millimeters from the bottom of the fingerboard to the back and I know that at the heel uh, you want to have about an inch thickness including the fingerboard um, so that the neck itself was a little over three quarters of an inch. Fingerboard is usually about a quarter of an inch thick before radiusing. I copied all that over and I also indicated where the 12th fret was on both. When I drew the neck above, I came down about a mil and a half from the nut uh, below the string line and drew a second line. Uh, and that is actually about three mil at the heel. That's to accommodate action. And now I added another mil and a half line under that one for the height of the frets, which is usually about a mil and a half. Then I drew a quarter inch thick uh, fingerboard. And then from there, all my measurements came down off of the bottom of the fingerboard. Also, up near the headstock over here, I went down a half an inch from the bottom of the fingerboard so that there's a break angle over the nut. Now I go to my Stu Mac website to their fret position calculator and I put in 22 frets at a 25 and a half inch scale length and that will generate every fret position in inches from the nut and inches fret to fret. You can do that in millimeters too which is more accurate but I use inches because I have a good ruler. Now I've transferred those marks or those locations onto my center line and all I'm doing now is drawing in the fret positions making sure they're square to the center line when I do that. I've also started marking out where the dots are going to go. Since we know where the nut is we can locate the bridge and I've drawn the bridge in here. You can get the dimensions off of say eBay or Stumac or whoever sells you the bridge. So now we have our holes indicated for the tuning posts. We have the nut drawn in with the string slots. All the frets are drawn in including the dot position markers. And we have our neck depth of one inch including the fingerboard all drawn in and our bridge locations at our nominal 25 and a half inch scale length. At this point we're ready to build a neck. We haven't designed a body yet and that'll be in the next video. See that was fast. Come back each week for new videos and thanks for watching.